Petri next year and there will be an additional subject called Science. So today we have with us Ms. Jody, an expert in Science, to share with us more about this new subject. So Jody, I know that there are five teams in Science, so can you tell us what are they? The five teams are actually Diversity, Interaction, Cycles, Systems and Energy. Wow, oh, quite a few teams. And for P3, will they be doing all of that? No, for P3, they so were actually focusing mainly on diversity mm -hmm. uh, and a little bit of interaction with cycles. Sounds really broad. So can you elaborate more about the teams that you've mentioned? Yes, for diversity, they'll be focusing on actually living things and non-living things. They have to know actually the characteristics of the different organisms. While for cycles, they'll be focusing on mainly life cycles of plants and animals. While for interactions, they'll be focusing on actually magnets and how they interact with different uh, objects. Interesting things that they'll be learning. So how are they going to be tested in school? For science, there are actually two sections. Sections A, which actually consists of your MCQ questions, mm -hmm. and section B actually consists of their short answer questions. Doesn't that sound a bit like English exams? So like with MCQ and short answers, are they the same? Oh no, they're actually quite different. Mm -hmm. For science, they actually all the questions are most of the questions are actually based on diagrams, which actually consists of pictures of organisms, a flow chart and classification chart. So the questions are actually phrased in a way that they just have to relate to the diagram in order to answer them accordingly. Sounds complicated. So as a parent, how would I what can I do to actually get my child interested in this topic, in this subject? For parents, they can actually purchase experimental kits from popular or online. They could actually do simple experiments at home, like growing of green bean plants to illustrate life cycles of plants, or actually getting mealworms to illustrate life cycles of animals. Okay, thank you very much for your time.